Hey guys. I am back again to uh, show you two custom journals that I recently finished up. And these are for um, <clears throat> Jessica Rapp. She has a granddaughter coming uh, next week. And um, I think they're gonna induce her. I hope she doesn't mind me telling that. But she's coming next week and she wanted me to make um, a baby girl journal for mom and dad and um, and then for her sister so she has a big sister and so these are they have similar elements like all my journals do but I tried to think about you know a younger girl using this one and then you know the the mom and dad using this one so they're different um, I'm gonna go through I'll go through this one first. So, it's chunky. Um, I put a lot of things in here for them to use. I tried not to overdo it, though, because I'm, I'm not so sure that they're um, big, um, you know, scrapbookers or stuff like that. So, I tried to make it pretty simple, but then give them some fun stuff to play with. And then I did removable charms on both in case they're not, you know, crazy about this. They could... You know, they could take this off and hang it somewhere or mom could use it as a, you know, keychain or hang it in her car, you know, whatever. Um, or she keep it on the book. But I just put a bunch of, um, or not a bunch, but some pretty ribbons and then, you know, my normal little charms and buttons and beads and uh, there's a little ladybug and a butterfly and just some little floral beads, a vintage little red button there. And uh, the little heart and flowers, stuff that's girly, uh, pink vintage button and a white vintage button, um, which is like a, I think this is a mother of pearl button. And um, I love this right here. I love this. This is some uh, Rick Rack, and I think it came from, I think it's called the Felt Pod. Uh, this came in some Happy Mail, and it's just really pretty, super soft, and I thought it looked really pretty on here. I made my tie. I mean, this might be a long video um, because I'm sending these to, um, to them for Jessica. She won't see them for a little while, and I want her to really be able to see what I did. So I made one of my um, scrappy ties, and there are vintage. There's some vintage feed sack. There are some newer fabrics, and there's some gingham in here, and um, this came from a... a pillowcase that I found and I think Jessica actually sent me the pink and gray gingham and some yellows and some pretty fabric that was gifted to me so just put um, things that I thought were just girly and pretty and um, but not you know like not over not overly bright and powerful some of this is bright some of this is muted um, this is actually a, I believe it's, I started with a cereal box. So the spine is like, um, oh, well, I'll help if I put it the right way. So the spine is, yeah, right at two, it's a two and a half inch spine and it's flexible. Um, I painted it. So I painted it, um, all over. Okay. It's got several coats of. Uh, gesso and then some darker pinks and some lighter pinks and some white and there's some it looks like it's got some texture on it it really feels nice and it's soft you know it's soft and uh, so it gives it some flexibility and then I put this came from a vintage book and I love this little image um, and it's a little girl blowing a dandelion and I just stitched around that. I believe I need to go back. I think I'm going to seal this. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to I'm going to seal that little image so that it doesn't I think it'll be okay, but just in case um it gets any moisture or anything like that to it, I think I'm going to go back and seal that. This is fine because this has enough of um, the type of paint that I used and then the gesso and then I did run some um, Some Inca gold over it just to give it sort of a little bit of an age look so you can see that uh, I hope you can kind of see that around the edges and then I took some of my Wash I made some washi specifically for this to wrap around it. Um, I, I Really like the way my other journals turned out where I did the washi tape around them 
And then I love this little embroidery piece and I used this on another journal that I made for someone else and it's got these beautiful little flowers. So I made a piece of washi from that and wrapped it and this was some Happy Mail fabric that I made some washi and this was another piece that had some florals on it. Um, I had to kind of cut it to make it fit and then I just kind of left that little edging around it down at the bottom. But I thought it turned out really pretty. I'm very happy with how this came out. Um, I like it. And then this is one of, so she's gonna get a piece of like, you know, a lot of different people in here. So um, this is a little flower that Phaedra sent me. So she made that. And then there's a doily, there's a cotton doily and one of my little fabric scrappy flowers there. So, and then inside, and what's really nice about this is this book, this book lays really nice and flat um, when you get in the middle, you know, when you just in the middle of it. I left room, you know, in between the signatures. I left a good amount of space so that it will grow. Um, I put this on the inside of the cover. I used a, an old vintage children's pattern. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. My lights, my light is, it's afternoon light, so I get more shadows. Oh, okay, maybe that's better. So, um, I covered it with pattern, um, collaged the front and back, the whole inside, okay, is, is a pattern from the same pattern. And then, I took, um, I took some fun stuff. I'll show you that in a minute. I used um, this fabric that Renee sent me, which is a super cute vintage um, linen fabric that she sent me that had like elephants and rocking horses. And I believe it was an old, um, I don't know if it was an old sheet or an old bag or something. But it was just really cute. I love it. I have some big pieces of that left and then some chenille and just made a little sort of fabric, little tab and attached some little vintage buttons with a garment pin. And then, um, I'm gonna stuck all of this. Inside the pockets, I'll go ahead and show you this. I made her, I made her a um, tag out of one of my little golden books. Um, this was from the baby farm animals, but so I gave her the little baby chicks on one side and baby piglets on the other. I just stitched around, I cut it down so it would fit in the pocket and stitched around it and put some little um, pieces of sheet fabric that I had left over. This came from a book that Jessica actually sent me it's called The Book of Life. So I did the, I just folded this up, it's the life tree. So she wants to fill out the family heritage and baby's name down here. And um, this was from a mother goose. This didn't make it into the book, but I included it. So they can make a little envelope out of it if they want to. And then some journaling cards. These are some digital printables uh, that came from another Etsy shop that I've used before. And then I bought stuff from her several times and I think um, KB and friends. And then these two came out of that same book that Jessica sent me. So I pulled out the mother's message to her child and the father's message. So I thought that would be fun. They could write a message to the baby. And one of my little cards, well tags, one of my big handmade tags with, uh, you know, the old lady who lived in the shoe. So many children she didn't know what to do. And then there's the envelope. So I put these in here. All these go in here and they can you know they don't have to use all this if they don't want to they can do whatever they want with all this stuff and this is this is meant to use as a writing you know as a writing surface for them it works really well okay so there's four signatures and there are like it's super fun lots of fun stuff in here um, there's over a hundred and some pages in here I counted but I don't remember so put a lot of tabs, a lot of fabric tabs and little buttons and little things like that. Um, and I actually, these are tabs that I just sewed. 
I made a bunch of tabs one day using scraps and then I just glued these on. And music paper, it says, hey baby. And I put some little washi tape down the side just to give it some more structure. And um, I put a couple of pages from ch the children's treasury book. Uh, Jessica actually sent me one of those too. And I just thought some of these little images were so cute. Um, this is actually the copyright page. So it was 1951. There's scrapbooking paper, there's ledger paper. There's still a lot of a lot of blank space for writing and a lot of pages for pictures um, and pockets. This is some of my sort of uh, drawing paper that I tea dyed and made a pocket out of. I clipped a lot of things in that she can use, like this just says baby. This is like a really cool textured paper. Um, this little paper clip came in some happy mail and my friend Jennifer uh, sent these to me. She made these and she made several and I've used them in my book, but I'm sharing some here. The, um, I did do the plastic sleeves in here and I just stuck um, cards and little bits they can use. They can move these around. They can take those out and totally just put pictures in there however they want to use it. Uh, you know, vintage graph paper. There's tracing paper, some wallpaper, more scrapbook paper, and I just covered up the little, I left the, the little um, trademark strip that they do at the bottom, and I put some fabric washi and another fabric flower, and just some, a paper strip on this side. In the middle of a couple of these signatures, I took a, the piece of scrapbook paper, and I made a big pocket. So this is a big pocket, there's nothing in there, but I figured that would be a good way for them to tuck things. Um, so that's the other side of that little scrap of paper and the paper line is called Little U. So I left that, but then I covered that up with some felt and then some little washi tape pieces. And then I put, um, one of my Bambi pockets in here. So that she can, um, I just clipped it in so she can put it wherever she wants to. The other side of the plastic sleeve, just a bunch of little journaling cards. I love this little bunny rabbit. This comes from that little U. And then these are from another um, paper line that I bought. And that is a Prima little journaling card. This is a little tuck another pocket the other side of the um, little treasury book and it says baby bear looked at his dish and he found it was empty because somebody had been eating his porridge so that was like a the old uh, three little bear story on that side I just thought that was cute you know and she can put a picture here or you know whatever stick an envelope here and tuck things in um, I just clipped a couple of more little fabric tabs here. And then um, this was part of that copyright um, part of the book. It had these little pretty little blue flowers. I thought that was pretty. You can just write around those. So that's the end of the first signature. And the second signature of some more scrapbook paper. Another little tab with buttons. Vintage... Um, advertisement on uh, children's toys, more graph, Richard Scarry. Y'all know I have to put some Richard Scarry in here. Um, some of that um, paper that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations, that straw paper. And then I just took some little images. This is a little girl and the little poem is my bed. So I just I clipped this so she could use it wherever. And then a little doily and then another little page from uh, Edith Holden book. And this is one where the little girl's writing in the baby book. And it says we write things in our books about our babies. So I thought that was cute. Um, and they're just clipped in with a big paper clip. Um, Winnie the Pooh, graph paper, more Richard Scarry, more um, scrapbook paper. And this is kind of has like a chart on it. Um, and then just a little envelope. 
It's just a little envelope clipped in. I didn't put anything in the envelope. I really tried not to over, you know, to overdo it because some of these things are kind of like, um, to some people, if they're not used to this, it's, it's overwhelming and it's like Alice in Wonderland. But I made a tag um, out of this piece of scrapbook paper and this little journaling card and just a little piece of paper and a little felt flower. I'm really using those felt flowers. Love them, love them, love them. Jennifer sent those to me. She made a ton of them. Another little journaling card. One of my little hearts. And I love this paper. This is also from Little One. It has a little stork on it. Little bunnies and cats and bears. Uh, this is from another vintage children's book. Scrapbook paper. Uh, this is an envelope uh, from a nursery rhyme um, music book. And I just made it into an envelope. It's Rockabye Baby. I love these little heart clips, but they're challenging. <laughs> a little heart paper clip. The other side of the sleeve. And uh, I just... All I did here was I just stapled some rickrack to that side, just showing you different ways you can decorate the edges of those little plastic sleeves. Another little book page just clipped in with a little girl. It's another Edith Holden. One of my uh, pockets that I made out of an old fairy tale book. And then this came from the little engine that could. And then it's got a little um, alterations tag in it. And that just clips in here. So I tried to embellish, but not way overdo it. Okay, so that's the end of the second signature, and you can see it still lays really flat. But um, lots of room to grow. Another uh, sleeve, and this one I just put a scrap piece of paper, and I stamped this little baby image. This was a stamp that um, my little butterflies got cooked up there. Uh, this was a stamp that uh, Jennifer sent me as well. And then this was on um, a paper line I think Renee sent me. And it has a little quote that says, Let me love you a little more before you're not little anymore. And I just stapled one of my little uh, butterflies to it. And put that in there. And then this is a sweet baby girl where they can write the name, the date of birth, the time of birth, and all that good stuff. Some more little um, fabric washi, and then another little flower made by Phaedra, and the another little felt fabric flower made by Jennifer. And this card I made, one of my little index cards, I did a video on how to do this um, with taking your stickers or scraps, or I did it with the boy stuff with a lot of stickers, but you can do it with just paper pieces and um, punches and all that good stuff. But you get the idea. This is just sewn in. Another um, key page from that children's treasury book. This is a little half pocket. And I put a little um, a little vintage card in here. I believe this came in some Happy Mail from Renee. So I put the little envelope in the and the card in here. That was cute. Bambi. Everybody loves Bambi pages. And there's Bambi in the woods talking to Thumper. Here's another large pocket with scrapbook paper, tracing paper, the other side of that pocket, and there's a bunch of little fun stuff tucked in there. Um, this has stuff like um, said, da said daddy, said mommy, first veggies, um, first fruit, first steps, first cereal, First sippy cup, first giggle. So those are little things where they can literally just take a picture, stick a little tag, make a little note, and, and they're done. You don't have to make it complicated. Um, so, which I tend to do. So rolls over, front to back, back to front. Uh, first haircut, first tooth, first word. You have my heart and all you need is sleep. <laughs> so put all those in there. I thought that would be fun. And they came from two different paper lines that I happen to have in my stash because y'all know I love doing the baby books. 
but I try not to make it like I'm trying to make it babyish, but not too, um, you know, it, it's babyish, but it's it's a it's kind of an eclectic babyish, is what I like to call it. But this says the day you were born, dream big, little one, love you, and I just stuck these in here. Um, they can use somewhere else. There's another little index card that I made. Um, with some scraps of paper and I stitched and I stitched on these in white thread so you can't really see it real good on the video. It says you are my happy. This is a little paper clip I made. A little banner paper clip. Another little tab with some little vintage buttons. So that's the third signature and then the fourth signature. Um There's a lot of fun, a lot of fun kids' book pages. Here's the um, sleeve on this one, and this came from a, a, I think this is a Prima paper that I've had for a while, and I saved some of these with the little deer. I love that paper. I can't remember what it was, and then it has the Scrabble on the back. And this is a piece of vintage sheet that I made into washi tape, fabric washi, uh, vintage ledger, really pretty vintage letter. There's a pocket. I'm fumble fingers today. There's a pocket. Um, more Richard Scarry book and this is the rabbit uh, family's house so I thought that might be cute if they wanted to you know put a picture of her coming home or a picture of their house. And then um, this last signature I did put some of my homemade my handmade buttons and made two little pockets here and there's some more little journaling cards um, here and then another tag which I thought was cute it was like a grandmother a little girl and her baby doll and I, I think she's making her some baby clothes I just thought that was cute I made a tag out of that put that in there Richard Scarry's house some more fun um, children's book pages, and then this on this um, in this pocket, I made a flip out. Um, I got some in a Happy Mail swap that I did with somebody. She sent me these uh, lined file folders, which is really cool. So I cut them down, um, and I just made a you know a slide in, and then down here I just added some scraps of paper and some hearts, and then I put a new baby is like the beginning of all things, wonder, hope, a dream of possibilities, and that came off an authentic paper line. Um, there's two different paper lines. One of them has the other saying on it, and one of them has this one, and I had some pieces from both. Um, another. Um, Eloise Wilkins, if I said Edith Holden before, it's because I get the two of them mixed up, and Eloise Wilkins is the children illustrator, and Edith Holden is the floral, the, um, you know, the floral lady, and I always say them incorrectly, so I apologize. So this is Eloise Wilkins. I do that all the time, because my brain goes dead when I go to do a video. Anyway. So, just lots and lots of fun stuff. There's some more pages from the Three Little Bears. Uh, another little um, paper clip. I saw somebody do this, and I'm going to have to look them up and link them here. Um, was it Shabby Doodah that was doing these? Where it's like a pocket paper clip. So, you just take, um, I think it was her that I saw do it. You just take a piece of paper, you know, a long piece of paper, and then put another piece. I just pieced two things together, and then I stitched it, and it makes this little pocket on the front of it, and then you just clip it in. Um, you don't have to sew. You can just glue it, but I thought that was a really cute idea, so I made one. Um, I just made one. I'll probably make some more of these, and then I just stuck some little... Um, Dreaming is free, wonderful you, a little stamp that I had done, some little tags, a little baby stamp, um, a little tab that I had cut out. These were little things that I was gonna use um, that I didn't end up using while I was putting the book together, so I just stuck them in that little pocket. But this is where they could put a little note or a little picture, or 
They could um, hang a charm or put some of the, put some ribbon or fabric on it, decorate it, or embellish it further, so to speak. And then that is the back. So that is that one. And that one is going to mom and dad. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do another video and show you guys the other one because this one was super long. It's 25 minutes. So, um, but I wanted. I wanted you to be able to see a lot of the details. I didn't want to fly through it. So I'm going to go back um, and do another one and show you the one I made for a big sis. Okay? Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.